You know, it's been a while since I've done any Pelican content. I did buy a kayak of Dick's Sporting Goods, but I, we used it last year in the Keys, but we haven't really done my normal videos. And I said, hey, Pelican, it's been a while. How about we work together again? Can you send me over to five boats, maybe seven? <laughs> they say, hey, 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 let's start with two. And I'm going to give you coats so you can go online and order them through the website. And um, they also ask if I could do a story showing you how easy it is. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're right here at the Pelican website. Let's go to shop. Uh, funny enough, this is one of the ones. Boom. And the other one is the catch mode. Let me see here. Fishing. See if it shows. Uh-oh. It's showing. Can look at that. Catch mode 110. This is the one that I want. Add to cart. Wait, I think I have too many boats. <laughs> Let's go to checkout. It's Shopify. This should be easy, guys. For obvious reason, I'm not going to be showing you any of my private information. But this is so easy to buy kayaks. Oh my god. Shipping is not that expensive either. Look at that. That's what you would normally pay. But of course, I'm getting these kayaks from Pelican to make videos for you guys. So I won't be paying that. I'm just going to go ahead and complete order right now. Boom. Order is being processed. It took me a second. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Guys, welcome to another amazing episode of testing kayaks with Alex. Right here, I have a special one. And I just realized the best way to put this kayak on the water is by making a splash. So. <gasps> it went away. Oh my God. It went away. <laughs> Always remember to also put a rope on your boat, not just your kayak cart. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, Lucas, let me get on the boat. No, no, let me let me do a video, Lucas, and I'll come and get you. Deal? I think we have the perfect day to test this boat here because it's very windy. As you said, as soon as I push it on the water, it just kept moving me back and back and back. Look at this, going like seven miles an hour. Let me just start going that way to get a feel for the boat. It's a 10 foot kayak. Uh, tracking could be better. Now I see why Peli can have a model with the skag. It's not a bad paddle against the wind. Not wasting a lot of energy. I'm gonna do a speed test very soon. I just wanna go ahead and turn here first and see how it is to paddle with the wind on your back. <laughs> oh my God. You don't hear anything. Just put the blade on the water. and It feels like you're going 10 miles an hour. Shoo. What a difference, using the wind to your advantage. This kayak is very wide. It should be easy to stand up on it. Let's find out. Sit. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you're under 220 pounds, I would say, you should have no problem standing up on this boat. As long as you know what you're doing. You could tilt it a little bit, it's gonna hold you, that secondary stability is there. Of course we could flip it and we're definitely gonna be doing the flipping test later. What's up Lucas? Now yeah Lucas, I'm filming. When I don't film it, I'll get you, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. One of the best things you can do as a kayak angler is being able to stand up and paddle standing up slowly so you see far far away and you see the fish before they see you because that's really what scares the fish proximity it's not the motor 
It's not the PDL drive, it's not the paddle. The push pull is if you get too close to them. A few things I want to test before I do the speed test. I want to go over there to the shallow area and do a shallow test. I'm kind of paddling, not against the wind, not with it, just cutting across. Standard boating procedure if you need to go somewhere and not really get hit with the conditions up front. All right. As soon as I reach the end of this, I'm gonna turn and let's see how it turns. Nice. Now I'm using the uh, conditions to my advantage, but uh, gotta get rid of that. <laughs> that skeg is very needed on this boat, let me tell you. But the reason why I got this model is not because I'm gonna use it as a paddle kayak. I'm gonna use it as a motorized kayak, but I still wanted to do like a water demo, paddling the kayak so you get an idea of how it works if you don't have a motor yet. But I mean, look at this, transom mount right there on the back. Boom. All you have to do is just slap your trolley motor there. And you're good to go. And we're gonna do exactly that as soon as I finish with this water demo. I'm gonna slap the NK300 on it and take it for a spin. Look how shallow it is right here. Oh my God, it's like one inch of water, literally. I'm touching the bottom already. It's literally three inches of water. Those are rocks, that's a rock right there. Make sure I put extra marks on the kayak. Dude, I'm basically rolling through the bottom. Nothing stopping the boat. Some other kayaks, they have like heavy keels or skags or things and it will be a drag. But this one doesn't have any of that right now. So if you're going to be fishing very, very shallow water, this thing will work. You could just get the motor to take you there, bring the motor up and stand up and do your little thing. It draft very, very, very shallow. So now I want to take my phone out and kind of like go speed mode craziness over there and see how fast we could push it. I say probably four miles an hour without much effort and maybe touch five. It's marking already. All right, so let's go ahead and easy paddle two miles an hour. Three miles an hour, 3.6. I could maintain this forever. I'm not gonna feather the paddle right now because I, I, I'm just doing a simple test. That when you feather the paddle, you cut into the wind like that. So it's easier to paddle against the wind, but I'm not gonna do that right now. So let's see if I push it hard, 3.3, 3.6, four miles an hour, 4.5, 4.3, Four point five. Hey, that's not a bad paddle for a ten foot kayak that was designed in mind to take a motor and giving you extra stability. Because if they want to make it a paddling kayak, they want to make it smaller and a more like a V shaped pole and all that stuff, and you don't want that. So I was able to keep up like three miles an hour super easy without killing myself. The problem was when I started hitting it hard now <laughs> i want to see how good this wind is let's see how fast i push it going that way okay so this is two and a half this is 3.9 this is 4.6 for 4.9 4.9 is the highest briefly it touches, let's see how good it, it turns. 10 foot kayaks, bro. They're super easy to turn. Okay guys, so tracking. There's not an area here today that I could really test the tracking of this boat. But just gonna give you an idea of how it does. Just gonna go ahead and let it go. Still fast Lucas! <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and go this way. I'm gonna let it go. See? You could tell right here 
how it just again there's a reason why they added the skeg so if you're gonna paddle this kayak the, get the skeg it's gonna help you a lot all right guys so let's go ahead and bring the heavy motor down here the three horsepower and take it out for a spin